welcome back to the channel. We are continuing James Turner's Every Occult Challenge. We have a werewolf and a vampire. We've been visited by the tragic clown and Grimm. We want to add the teenager that was killed in our last episode as a ghost today. So Charlotte is working on killing Charlie's annoying co-worker to check off that requirement. Francine shows the signs of a lover personality type. Lover sims crave in intimacy, live to experience pleasure, and are very passionate. Nonetheless, their desire to, to evoke love in others, they risk losing their own identity and appear shallow. Okay. Don't roll your eyes, just, you know, do the thing. You and I know what's going on, but we don't want to um, clue the others in. I don't think they would be too happy with you killing her co-worker. But, we gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, that's cool if you're non-committal. We don't need commitments in our life. What are you doing? Why are you doing it? I didn't ask you over here to cook. I asked you to, you came over here to uh, fix things. <laughs> Ember scared Prue made her drop her wallet. Righty old chair. Fix the TV. How are we gonna find get, get any news if the TV's broken? She peed herself. I know she's asleep. Inver always felt confident in his belief in the supernatural. Well, you're a werewolf, so I'm, I hope you're confident. And you're trying to make friends with the ghost. Seeing is believing. And now Inver can't get the thought of out of his head that ghosts could be everywhere, always watching. I mean, I guess.
All right, we're going to order some skill books so we don't have to worry about being electrocuted and dying. Uh, so maybe that would help us some. Gonna try to get level one and two and all of the skills that we need. Charlotte looks so peaceful when she sleeps. She definitely does not like look like she's got a senior citizen trapped in the basement. Yep, Lou is pretty cool. So how did you die, my girl? She survived as a vampire for 20 nights. That's great. Let's go take a shower, my dude. You're starting to look ripe. You may be part wolf, but you don't have to smell like one. How you doing, Francine? For some reason, I actually can't get out. I don't know why. Oh, she can now share conspiracy theories with other Sims. She can also use the computer to send chain letters or... And observatory to spy on the neighbors. Okay, that's great. She's still alive. Alright, so it looks like she's going to try to kill her with fire. So a little of this. And a little of that.
This lady don't want to die. Why won't she just die? I know that sounds bad. We are talking about this sim, okay? We've had her trapped in the basement with no food or water since Friday. And then setting her on fire didn't work. We can't drain her life spirit, suck her blood. Oh no, she's broken hearted because we're trying to kill her. I mean, that does dampen the relationship a bit if you kill, try to kill someone. Not that Charlotte was actively seeking a relationship. We've had Charlie take PTO today so we can make sure Francine dies. Apologize for the silence. Just trying to research how long it takes to starve someone, and there's I don't know, who knows? Let's see. Can I push her in the pool? She's sitting on the edge of the pool. Can I push her in? All right, we're gonna try fireworks again. Just make sure you use your own credit card, Charlotte, so Charlie doesn't ask any questions.
Oh no. There is a fire in the basement. I hope nobody's down there. She didn't know stop, drop, and roll. Thank goodness. So maybe she will finally die. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Is she, is she dead for real or is she just gonna get back up? No, don't you don't die. Move. That was a close one. She, I was able to get, she extinguished it herself. All right, we can call, I guess, call the fire department. Unlock the door. Didn't expect that to take that long. We almost lost our vampire in the process. You know, I guess. <laughs> Grim is in the house reading the vampire lore book. Because, of course, okay, let's find the rocket ship. Continue building the rocket ship. have many an idea. They come to me at the weirdest of times. All 
memory R2. Now that Francine is officially dead, we'll need to try to make bestest of friends with Bonnie before she'll join us. I mean, she's a dead teenager. What other options does she have? Haunting her parents? Her classmates at school? Charlie and Enver are our best bet to try to make friends with her. Charlotte is a little antisocial. Um, so, you know, we'll leave her inside to do her thing. All right, tell her a few jokes, Charlie. Make her laugh. Yeah, fashion is very funny. I don't have very much fashion sense. I don't get it. Ha! No? Okay. Let's discuss logic. She's a smart girl. Ghost like plasma fruit salad? Okay. That's weird. So, Bonnie, I know you've been hanging around here for a while. Well, since you died playing with our robotics machine unsupervised. I think that was just a lapse in judgment, I'm sure. We'd like to have you join us officially. We're trying to save the world. What do you think? I think she's going to take a little more convincing, Charlie. Tell her a knock-knock joke. Yeah, let's take her outside and stargaze so Charlotte doesn't um, cause any issues. Let's seal the deal. Yeah, those are the stars. They're great. We want to eventually go there. Awesome. Great. Thank you for joining our household. All right, just make yourself at home. I'm going to bed. There's a tent, there's a sleeping bag, there's a couch. I'll find you, please. Yes, Bonnie can like stories. All right, go to bed. Sleep. Is that? Oh, that's the splotch on the wall.
Okay. Put up your... Thing we have to visit here. Because there's the waterfall and it's by the waterfall. You're just gonna go in this random house, okay. Okay. All right, it, you can go to the waterfall. Don't drown. Ancient wreck. Exploring into the cave, Car Charlie discovered an underground beach occupied by an ancient sea wreck. While exploring the wreckage, the rotted world began to sway from the tidal waters coming in and out of the cove. Realizing the area would flood soon, Charlie fled the rising waters and back into the cave's tunnels, leaving her discovery behind. You got a blue bear, okay. All right, let's try again. Hold on, do you have any fruits or whatever? Yep, eat you some spinach. So you can get Popeye arms. Charlie heard a strange sound echoing the cave as she explored its depths. Following the river bends, Charlie passed through a particularly tight passage through it before a new sound reached her ears. The loud squelch above and something landed on Sh Charlie's shoulder. Fleeing in terror from the sudden assault, Charlie beelined for the cave entry entrance and the safety outside did she did she really explore some more Charlie was exploring an undocumented section of the cave when she came upon a beautiful sight. Though unsettling to some, thousands of glowing larvae covered the walls of the hidden grotto. Charlie debated whether to take in the sight or leave. A mass squirming of squirming insects fell from above and coated her head. The sight of Charlie running through the cave with bugs falling from her scalp must have been a sight to see, if anybody had been watching.
An enchanting song floated through the winding passage of the cavern, spurring Charlie to investigate the source of the bewitching harmony. Turning around a bend, she became the audience to a mermaid. Lost in her melody, when the song ended, Charlie cheered for the mermaid and received a wave before the mermaid dove back into the nearby pool, leaving Charlie humming the tune the rest for, through, the, through the rest of her exploration. I guess we should go home. Where did you go? Oh, he's hunting. I guess go one more time since, while we wait for um, Enver to come back from hunting. Da, da, da. Once Charlie was leaning over the pool the w of water the mermaid was resting in, the mermaid struck, pulling her under the current and into her embrace. I guess you can go to the bathroom. Did you get some kelp yet? No, you still haven't gotten any kelp. Go to the bathroom. Okay. Charlie's hanging up the clothes. Look up, put the laptop in your thing. Put on some clothes. You take that. Drink that. Danny is a snob. Okay. Um, Danny, do you have a crystal by chance today? Or do you need to go find the other lady? go inside. I didn't realize I was outside. Go here. I guess the rocket is technically outside.
Uh, I don't know why she's below. I, everybody needs to take college prep course. So that's if it, that does. You, Find your couch to sleep on. Wow, college prep levels you up in skills. Thank you so much. Is that good? Yeah, that's awesome. Oh no. Don't break it. Don't break it. Great job, did you, is it done? Okay, I guess Bonnie didn't never have to go back to school because she just learned everything in the college prep class. Here, did you learn how to do this? Bye, Bess. Who is going to scam us now that you're gone? Name. Let's go home. All right, Charlie is exhausted. I gotta send her alone. Work from home. Yes, Bonnie should skip school. All right, friends, I think this is where we're going to call this. I um, hope you have a good rest of your evening. And until next time, dag dag. <laughs>